is it better for your blood sugar to walk before or after meals? Well, in today's video, I'm gonna be testing to see whether there is a difference between exercising before eating or after eating on my blood sugar. Now, I've done blood sugar experiments similar to this last year. One was testing to see uh, which form of exercise was better for my blood sugar. High intensity interval training, which is the form of exercise that I usually do, or walking. And then the other blood sugar experiment was to see whether it was better for my blood sugar to exercise kind of generally before eating or after eating. So if you're interested in those videos, I'll link them down in the description box below. But today we are gonna be looking specifically at walking and the impact of walking on my blood sugar before and after eating. When people talk about blood sugar hacks, I think the one that I hear the most frequently is to go out and walk after your meal. So let's put it to the test. Let's see if walking after meals is better for my blood sugar than walking before meals. And I'm gonna define walking for myself in this experiment as a brisk walking for a full 20 minutes. And then I'm gonna check my blood sugar at the one hour mark and then again at the two hour mark after I eat my meal. All right, so let's get into it. Okay, so today I am going to be doing my 20 minute walk first before eating my breakfast to see what happens with my blood sugar. And as far as what I'm gonna be eating for breakfast, I'm going to be having these Trader Joe's blueberry waffles, um, plain with nothing on them. According to this box, a serving size is two waffles, so that's what I will eat. Um, as far as macros, it looks like there are 10 grams of fat, five grams of protein, and a whopping 32 grams of carbs, six of those grams are from sugar, four of those are uh, added sugar, and then there's three grams of fiber in these bad boys. Um, now, for somebody like me who has insulin resistance, waffles, even if it's eaten plain without any maple syrup or anything, it's just not a good food choice. And on a regular basis, I would never eat just two of these waffles for a meal. On the rare occasion that I do enjoy waffles, I will eat one and I will top it with um, almond butter, hemp seeds, and flax seeds to make it more balanced, more blood sugar friendly, and my body doesn't have a problem processing it if I eat it that way. But for the purpose of this experiment, I really wanna isolate the impact of walking on my blood sugar. And in order to do that, I don't wanna have other kind of confounding variables like adding fat and protein. I don't wanna do that. So basically I'm gonna be eating like 32 grams of I mean, essentially straight carbs. Um, this is my first meal of the day. My body is gonna be really, really unhappy with me, but let's see what happens. All right, so I just popped my two waffles into my toaster oven. I'm gonna let it toast up. And while that is going, I'm gonna test my fasting blood sugar to see where I am at pre-meal. So my pre-meal number is 83, which is pretty good. I'm assuming um, the walk had something to do with it because I was walking and I was burning sugar. Uh, my blood sugar is just kind of lower typically. My pre-meal number um, is somewhere in the 90s, sometimes the low hundreds. Um, but in my videos, I keep calling this my fasting blood sugar and it's not my fasting. Your fasting blood sugar is the number that you get like first thing in the morning when you wake up before you do any activity. It's That is your blood sugar, your fasting blood sugar. So this this is just my pre-meal number. It is at 83. All right, I have my waffles here. I'm going to gobble this up and then I will check back in with you guys for the one hour and two hour blood sugar checks. All right, so I am back here. I did my one and two hour blood sugar check. So I wanted to share with you what happened to my body. So at the one hour mark, my blood sugar spiked all the way up to 151, which is crazy because it went from 83 to 151, which is a 68 point spike. That is not good. And I definitely did my part today in worsening my insulin resistance. Then I checked again at the two hour mark and my blood sugar dropped down to 115. And then I was just curious to see what would happen at the three hour mark. So I went ahead and checked again there and my blood sugar dropped down even more to 71. Now that 71 is not a good number. What is happening to my body right now is that because my body is so inefficient at using that insulin to push the, that glucose into my cells, my insulin is overproducing and thus 
what's happening now is that it's resulting in a crash in my blood sugar and I feel super bad for my body right now. So tomorrow I'm gonna redo this again, except I'm going to do my 20 minute brisk walk after my waffles and let's see if that makes a difference. I woke up this morning feeling a lot of dread actually because my blood sugar spiked so high the other day and I really don't want to do that to my body again, especially with a meal that I feel like like isn't really worth it. Like I would rather do this with like pad thai or carbonara pasta or something, but you know what? I got to follow through. I'm going to do this. Um, I tested my pre-meal number just now and it landed at 84, which is lower than usual, but great because it'll give us a really good side-by-side -side comparison from uh, yesterday's blood sugar check numbers. So uh, I'm going to eat my waffles. I'm going to go for my walk and then I will come back to uh, give you guys an update on my blood sugar checks. See you then. All right, so I am back. So let us compare the results. Let me put up the graph here of what happened to my blood sugar when I uh, took my walk first and then ate my 32 grams of waffle carbs. So my body experienced a huge unhealthy spike. So what happened then when I ate my waffles first and then I took my walk? Well, my pre-meal number started off pretty similarly at 84. Then at the one hour mark, my blood sugar spiked to 146, which was a 62 point spike versus the 68 point spike on the first day, which, you know, that really isn't very much of a difference there. But the kicker is the two hour mark. So two hours post my waffles, my blood sugar came down to 86, which is just two points above my pre-meal number. So even though my blood sugar spiked really high on both days, pretty much almost equally on both days, my blood sugar stabilized a lot faster at that two hour mark when I did my walk after eating those waffles. Then at the three hour mark, my blood sugar came down to 72, which tells me that my body's insulin response still overshot it, which led to a little bit of a crash. But I mean, just overall, my blood sugar stabilized much, much faster when I walked after the waffles. Now, I kind of wish that I had checked my blood sugar again at that three and a half hour mark, um, just because my guess would be that on that first day, the three and a half hour mark check would have caught my blood sugar probably still crashing. So maybe showing me like in the 60s versus on that second day, I think my three and a half hour check would have shown my blood sugar maybe coming slightly back up to come back around my pre-meal number of 84, um, just showing that my blood sugar was stabilizing much faster. So based on the outcome of this experiment, I would say that at least for this experiment, personally, my body fared better when I did my walk after my meal. But let's be honest, we all know that, you know, exercise, no matter what type of exercise, no matter how long or how short in duration, no matter how intense or, you know, how low impact, no matter what time of day, it's always good to exercise. So I'm gonna take this experiment, keep it in the back of my mind, but really I'm gonna just continue to try to move my body throughout the day as often as I can. All right, if this video was helpful for you, please go ahead and hit that like button and also subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any upcoming videos. Thank you so much for joining me today and I will see you all next time. Bye.